What's going on you guys? Raymond here today with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're gonna to be talking about a few scooter hacks that you guys can do at your house. I'm gonna be doing all of these hacks here at my house because I feel like it's pretty fitting. All of the items that we're gonna be using in today's video, usually people have in the garage, in the bathroom, or something like that. You guys may have seen a couple of these hacks before. Um, and if you have, awesome. If you guys have your own, let us know about them in the comments below. Maybe it's something I don't know. Maybe it's something that the community doesn't know. And uh, they might get a little bit of a, a helpful tip from you. Now before we move forward and get this video started, I want to remind you guys, if you guys need to get any scooter parts whatsoever, if you guys need a new set of wheels, if you need grips, grip tape, bars, forks, anything, a headset, anything you guys need, we've got you over at www.thescooterzone.com. We've got a huge selection if you guys want to check us out. Check us out on our website if you guys live near the Temecula or Southern California area or you're traveling here, come check us out. I'm there all the time. Matt's there, Brando, Mackenzie. We got a whole bunch of the crew that's always willing to help you guys. If you guys have any scooter questions, feel free to call us. We are always here to help you guys out. So give us a call at 951-296-2222 or check us out online. But without further ado, let's get the video started. Hack number one has to do with not a wheel, but bearings that are inside of a wheel. Everybody knows that these bearings get super, super dirty and thrashed just because they're always exposed to the elements that are in the street or at the skate park, which pretty much is just dust and or dirt and maybe some water. Although, when this does happen, it's very hard to take these bearings out. So, I wanted to point out the fact that you actually don't have to take your bearings out to clean them, you don't have to do that. Everybody wants to take these things out, they break really easily because people like to take usually like a hammer or something like that to these and it's just not good for the bearings. So, the main thing that I use to get these out and to clean these is just simply a razor blade. You can use any item that is small and has a slight point to it. You can use a flathead like this one right here because it has this small point. You can use scissors most of the time if you can get the end of it in there. This is gonna be a little bit more of a pain but it will work. Sometimes you have like random little tools on bike tools like this or multi-tools, whatever you wanna call them. Sometimes you have something on there that you can use that's small and pointy, but I have found that a simple razor blade does the trick pretty easily. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our wheel and I'm just gonna grab the point of that blade and I'm just gonna put it on the outside edge of this, this plastic cover right here, right? So let me zoom in a little bit just so I can help you guys see this. I'm just gonna put it on the outside edge of the bearing right there and just slightly, just super easily pry up and the top of that bearing case usually will pop out pretty easily. Boom, just like that, that's it. Take care of this thing. This does go on a certain way. On one side you have the small metal part and on the other side it's fully rubberized. The rubberized part goes outside because that kind of deflects water, doesn't rust, things like that. So this side goes up, all right? So just set this to the side really quick. Check out the inside of the bearing here. See how you can see all the little balls and things like that. And depending on what you use to actually clean your bearings out, you may wanna grab a paper towel and lay it down the counter or something like that. Take your wheel, put it right here. I'm gonna be using WD-40 just because the stuff that I usually use is at the shop. I wouldn't use this on my wheel bearings. I use WD-40 on my headset. People tell me I'm crazy, but it works the best for me. You can use whatever you want, but um, I'm just gonna take this WD-40 and just spray a little tiny bit in here. All right, so I've sprayed a little bit in there now. We're gonna grab our casing, like I said, rubber side up. We're just gonna set it down like that. Grab our razor blade or flathead or whatever that you used to uh, get the bearing case off and just simply press it back on there. That's it. You'll feel a slight little pop when you're putting it back in, but now the inside of this bearing is lubed up and should spin a little bit better if it's super, super dirty, but Super easy hack, doesn't cost you guys anything, only takes a couple seconds, and it might save you a lot of hassle. One and done. Number two. For this hack, we're gonna be using the same wheel that we just used for the first one. Now, you see like the, uh, the little design on the outer edge of this wheel? This is what we're gonna be focusing on now. I, I like the design on this, but some people don't like designs on their wheels or on their bars or things like that, right? Or on their clamp. There's a lot of different things that aren't stickers essentially and uh, it'll come off really, really easily. A lot of people use water and soap and they'll try to like really scrape hard on this stuff and it does come off, but it's just a lot more of a pain than it needs to be. 
And all you really need to get all of that off really, really easily, brake cleaner. That's literally it. And it makes your life a lot easier. Now, if you're gonna use this stuff, I do recommend being very, very careful with it if you haven't used it before, because it's not really good for your hands. It's kind of toxic. And uh, if you are gonna be using it, grab a bunch of paper towels or a, a pretty thick rag as it's leaking on my hand, damn it. All right, so we've got our wheel ready to go. Like I said, I'm gonna be focusing on this outer ring here. I'm gonna fold these paper towels just to the point where I get like a really thick um, separation, a really thick area, right, like right here, right? So I'm gonna take our brake cleaner, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this stuff. You do not leave a lot of this, it's super potent. Um, and it's it's kind of gnarly to smell. If you do end up using this, don't, don't, N bad idea. That's it. That's literally all we need. Now check this out. Watch how easy this is. I'm gonna zoom in just a little tiny bit. Watch how easy this is. That's it. Gone. <laughs> Freaking gone, that's it. Done deal, I want one pass. Now I'll do the other side, check this out. It's pretty crazy. So I'm not gonna speed it up or anything like that. Look, just a little tiny bit, I'm gonna go in the same area. I'm gonna take our wheel right here, and I'm just gonna very slowly go around the wheel. Like, I'm using super light pressure here. Look at that, gone, toasted. Absolutely destroyed it. Like, it's completely gone. Like I said, a lot of people don't like designs on their wheels, um, and this is with every wheel company. There's just certain people that regardless of what you tell them, regardless of what the design is on the actual wheel, they're gonna take it off, which I understand. I have certain things that I don't like on my scooter, um, i.e. headset caps. I'm gonna take it off regardless of what headset it is. Um, but some people have things like this. And also that brake cleaner does a really good job of cleaning the wheel off. Like look at, you can see how shiny the wheel is right there. If you were to do this to the entire wheel, it would really bring back that black shine. Granted, it wouldn't last for a long time, but there you go. It's a great hack. I use it super, super often. Not lately, but I do use it a lot. That is hack number two. Number three. For this next hack, we gotta go up to my room. All right, so we're up in my bathroom right now, and uh, the next thing that we're gonna show you guys is, oh, you can't see that. It has to do with stickers. Everybody loves stickers. Everybody loves putting stickers on their scooters or their helmet or things like that. And this scooter zone sticker, I don't know why anybody would ever want to take this off, but in the off chance he wanted to take any kind of other sticker off because again, nobody wants to take these stickers off because they're the best stickers in the entire freaking world. And you wanted to change up the look of your bars or your deck, or whatever you have stickers on. This is a great little hack for this. Everybody knows the old heat gun trick when it comes to taking stickers off of things. But not everybody has a heat gun just laying around in their house. But, a lot of people have a hair dryer. Hair dryers obviously is just a, a glorified heat gun. Now one of the things about using a hair dryer or a heat gun is you don't want to leave the heat on one spot for too long. Uh, it doesn't take that long to actually peel these stickers off. Um, but for those stickers that just simply don't want to come off whatsoever, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on high heat, turn it on. And while you have the heat on, you just want to slowly pull this thing. Nice and easy. Boom, no problem. Comes off super easy. Doesn't leave a whole bunch of residue on your bars, which is nice because I absolutely hate having sticker residue on my bars. Um, and if you guys travel around and you go on the airplane and they sticker up your scooter with one of those giant bag stickers, those do not come off. If you ever run into the really unfortunate situation to where somebody at the airport is really dumb and they wanna put a giant sticker on your bars, if, and you don't get there in time to slap them, get a hair dryer, it'll save your life. By the way, don't forget, we're giving away this scooter at Scooter Zone. So if you guys want your chance to win this, make sure you're following us on Instagram and you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thing is freaking nasty. Look at that gold on there. Shouts out to my friends over at Envy. Electric scoot. Kenzie's currently over here making some breakfast, but this next one, that's not really a hack for your scooter, but if you guys wanna have like a little snack over at the skate park, 
I take this one with me mountain biking all the time. Again, it's not really a scooter hack, and I actually got this from Seth's bike hacks, and I thought it was really cool, so credit goes out to him, and I thought you guys might uh, appreciate it. So, and if you take somebody's idea, give them credit. Where are the tortillas? Ew. It's wheat. It's wheat? Yeah. Good for you. Wheat tortillas. I hate my life. Everybody likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but if you take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with you out to the skate park or really anywhere, and it sits for like an hour or two, we've all felt like that soggy middle because of the jelly. Blech. It doesn't really change the taste of it or anything, but it's just not exactly, um, it's not pleasing. I don't like the soggy part right in the center. It's weird. A tortilla does not get soggy when you put peanut butter and jelly in it. Watch. It's so freaking good. Thank you, Seth. What, where's the jelly? We got wheat jelly too. Strawberry jelly. Peanut blubber. And this will work with any, like if you want to do like a peanut butter and banana and honey sandwich or something like that, it, it doesn't get, it doesn't get soggy. I'm not gonna be eating this right now. I'm gonna take a small bite, but this is what I'm literally taking for lunch today. And this thing will last for like the whole day. Like I, I could come home and eat this for, for dinner and it would still be just like I just made it. And I like I like a lot of jelly on mine too, like a lot. So if you're balling on a budget and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on McDonald's or something like that while you go to the skate park and you want something that's gonna be one, healthy for you to an extent, definitely healthier than McDonald's. And two, you can make like three of these and they'd be super freaking cheap. Now fold this baby up. Mmm, delicious. I actually might eat the whole thing right now. No! Boom, now I got my snack for later. And that is gonna do it for these quick life hacks that you guys can do at your house. Hopefully one of these helps you guys out when it comes to your riding, building your scooter, or just having a cool little hack that you can show your friends. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys have a hack that uh, you know of that maybe a lot of other people don't know, let us know about it in the comments below. I mean, I definitely don't know every scooter hack that there is to know, so I'd love to hear what you guys have in the back of your mind. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget, if you guys need any parts, go to www.thescooterzone.com and get anything you guys need at any time. Give us a call. We're here to help you guys. Thanks, guys. Till next time, I'm out of here. Later. Later.